What's up boys, Callsign Grimy here. Welcome to another DCS tutorial video on the Apache and the newly introduced data link system that was released with the DCS 2.9 update. This is a very powerful system that's gonna be really cool to utilize in your multiplayer uh, servers as well as your multiplayer missions. So with that being said, as is with all of my tutorial videos, this is gonna be my best attempt at giving this to you in a fast and easy way for you to digest and utilize without over complicating it at first kind of look there's a lot to take in so i'm going to do my best here in this video to break it down as simple as possible to get you up and running utilizing it to the best of your ability let's jump straight into it okay i've got my cpg uh flying us over here that's not me and there, we have another uh apache back here in tow that will um be helping me out with the messaging and all that stuff so we're going to take a look here first things first go into your comms menu once you go into the comms menu here we already have a couple of these presets set we're going to start with a fresh one on preset three so you're going to pick a preset here once you do a preset um, what we're going to do here is select which fm channel we want to communicate on uh in this case we're going to pick fm2 and quite honestly you can pick any of these channels i just prefer to use utilize fm2 so we'll select fm2 and then we will select sc for single channel and now that has designated fm2 as the preset channel that we're going to uh we're going to utilize to transmit over uh all the, all the data over and all of that um now we're going to go into preset edit this is going to take us in to kind of refine the preset information so one thing we're going to do here is unit id um, we're going to rename that you probably could leave it basic if you wanted to, but we'll just say uh, we'll name this uh, char for Charlie. C H A R. Enter. And then the call sign. Uh, I put G R I M for grimy. You could put whatever you want in there. I don't think it's uh, all that important. And then here under primary, it has us designated to ut utilize FM1 single channel. We're going to change this to go to fm2 single channel so we'll change that and we'll be good to go you can see here that the little arrow is pointing at single channel on 31 fm on fm2 uh, up top here again we're going to pick the fm frequency so we will go fm and then over here on the left side box where it says freak right now it says 30.015 we're going to change this and we're going to utilize 31.5 for the frequency. So we're going to box it, come over here and punch in 31.5. Now, again, you could utilize whatever numbers. These are just stuff that I'm coming up with. You can do 32.2, uh, 33, whatever. You get the idea here. So utilize whatever numbers you want at this point. Um, so we're going to also change this on the right side to match. Since we're going to be using FM2, 31. Point five, enter. So now they'll transmit um, on that freak when we're sending uh, and receiving data. And it's also mirrored right here under, underneath FM1, single channel 31.5, and FM2, single channel 31.5. Cool, that's done, pretty simple. We can come out of that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox our preset three. When we do this, it's gonna give us some information on ourselves, own, uh, own ship, G69 is what I put there. Uh, What's really important here is this number here, DL26, data link 26. We're gonna go down to or, origin ID, we'll box that. And this is gonna give you information on your own uh, ship, right? This is the, the uh, Apache that we're in. Now you can put whatever number in here for your call sign. And as we learned, if you make a number here that's different from what your data link origin, uh, origin ID is, it could throw you off. It's very, very important that you pay attention to the data link origin ID number. This is the information here that you need to give to the other Apaches so that they can uh, store that and add you to their presets so that it knows to send it to you. And this is what you're gonna wanna ask from other Apaches, what's your data link orig origin ID. Call sign is whatever. This is just to help differentiate between uh, uh, whatever aircraft by name, but this is the actual information that 
uh, the data link utilizes to transmit over and, and know that it's your aircraft. So for me, it's data link uh, org ID 26. It's displayed right here as well as right here. And again, you can find this information once you box org ID or IG origin ID. So we'll unbox that. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to box our char preset or preset three formally. We're going to come down to net for network. Now, this is where we're going to add people to our team. Uh, in this case, I already have the other individual added here. And what we'll do is uh, we'll delete them and we'll do this from scratch. So when you open this up and there's nothing in here, you got all these question marks. This is how many slots you can add to your, your data link here. We're gonna click up here for CS for call sign. We're gonna get the question mark boxed. We're gonna come over to call sign and we're gonna enter G-27, enter, because that's his, uh, well, that's where we're going with, going with right now. This is the important part right here, all right? The call sign alone isn't enough information to transmit. The sub button, we're gonna box that. This is where you're gonna enter that origin ID information. In this case, the other Apache is origin ID is 27. So we're gonna put 27, enter. And now we have the proper information in here so we can properly transmit over to the other Apache. And again, you would do this for other uh, Apaches in the data link, whatever their call sign, followed by their origin ID number. You would just keep adding them to there. Um, once you've done this and you've added the call sign and the sub number, you're going to get these two pop up here for team and primary. This allows you to add them as a team member and or a primary member. And you can use your discretion on how you want to run that. Um, in this case, I'm going to box them for both. The other way that you can add people uh, to your data link is by going over here to MBR dir for member directory. We'll click that. And then within that server, whatever, it'll have all of the aircraft and their uh, designations in here. And as long as you know which one is the ones you're trying to add, you could cycle through here through the pages and then box and add them that way as well. So it's one of two ways you could do this. And at this point, we're set. He's set up, he's in the system, we're good to go. The next important thing is to get yourself situated up here with your radio comms, okay? Now, you'll take a look here. FM1 uh, is 31.5, but we're gonna run our preset three or char three on FM2. Here's what we need to do. We need to change a couple of things. First, we need to change FM2 uh, onto the right frequency. So we're gonna come down to the comm menu. We're gonna go down to manual. We're gonna come down to freak. We're gonna change the radio frequency. This should be pretty basic stuff. We're gonna go 30, 31.5, enter. Now we've got that 31.5 there and we see that's reflected up here up front on the display. Once we're done with that, we'll unbox it. Now we're gonna go ahead and use the IDM rocker to rock it down one time, enter in. And once we've done that, now this is what's gonna allow us to transmit our data, our data link information on FM2 on 31.5 Freak. Now we're gonna hit com again. It'll take us back to the main com page. And at the bottom corner here, we're gonna get the MSG for message and we're gonna have the option to send. So we're gonna go ahead and click on push button to send. And for what I wanna do right now, I wanna send waypoints over that I have in the aircraft to the other Apache. I'm gonna hit current mission. And then from here, again, you have a lot of options on what you can, what you can send. You can send areas, lines, you can send uh, target points, control measures, laser codes. We're gonna box waypoints. Once we box waypoints, you should see right here on the send button, everything that we're gonna send over the proper FM frequency and the preset, which is L3 or char. We're gonna hit send. Once we hit send, we're gonna look up here and we're gonna see transmit NAC FM2. That has successfully sent over the information on uh, to that other aircraft and they have now received it. Finally, let me walk you through how to send all of your favorite inappropriate jokes as text messages via the data link here in the Apache. We're gonna unbox current mission. We're gonna go and box text above. 
Once we're in here, you'll see that we have 10 pre-configured messages that we can send, uh, like quick messages to the aircraft in our data link system here. Uh, and when you push any of the push buttons next to them, it'll expand and show you the uh, actual message that will be sent. So for example, execute attack, if we hit the push button next to it, we get to see the actual message that's gonna be sent. It says unmask and execute attack, send BDA when complete. You'll also notice, uh, notice that when we press that push button, that we have the pop-up here to actually send it. It's in white. You'll notice that it has the information uh, to send over there for our uh, FM2 and all of that stuff. And when we're, when we're ready to send it, we'll hit the push button next to it to send. We're not gonna do that one right now. Now, if you don't wanna send any one of these, you are able to send your own messages by going up to free and boxing that. You have four more text boxes for you to draft up messages. Uh, when you draft a message, it will keep that message in there. So you could thereby expand from 10 to 14 total kind of quick responses, or you could just use it to type in, uh, you know, each time send a different message. It's whatever you want to do with it. You have options here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, unfreeze our uh, track IR. We're going to hit text one, and we're going to come over here in the keyboard, and we're going to say hello Sp space uh are we at here how space are you enter now as you can see here that message has been stored in text box one and it'll remain there until we change it so if i want to leave it there and spam it to everyone in my uh data link group <laughs> Uh, by all means, have at it. Uh, and again, you can type this to be out whatever you want. Um, if you feel like there's something that is not in here and the pre-confined one that you would like to have, like for example, um, let's say on text box three, we we say, uh, you know, sit rep, uh, R E P, enter. Now we have that as text uh, box three as a quick response to send over to uh, those aircraft in our group. What I'm gonna do now is send this over to the uh, Apache that's in my group. Big shout out to Economic Sachs, who's helping me out here from the uh, community. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and send this over. And you'll see here up top, we get the transmit NAC FM2, which lets us know that it was sent over. Now we're gonna wait for him to reply back. And there is our message. You can see right here, it says DL message. Let's us know we, we received the message. And down here, we're going to get that REC for received. If you're not in this menu, if you're in the comm menu, you'll see it right here. If you're in, in any of these other menus, uh, say you have a different display up or whatever the case may be, you're still going to get that reminder right up here to check your uh, messages. So we will go to comm. We'll hit receive. Here's the free text message reply. We're gonna see RVM right here in white that lets us review that uh, text message that was sent to us. We're gonna hit review and he said, hello, I'm good and you. Perfect, we know that that uh, works. We're able to communicate both ways via text messages. And once we're done with this, if it's not important or if you don't really care for the nasty joke that your friend sent to you via data link text, hit the delete button. Yes and no, yes, gone, done. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you utilize data link in the Apache. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. I'll definitely appreciate it. Call sign Grammy out.